Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes as the input and the L integers. So the L integers will be L equal to equal to the length of the string yes and for each integer x among the L integers the program must encrypt the first p alphabets in the string s yes. and this p represents the position of the integer x this encryption means that is shift the alphabets x position to the right in cyclic manner so first we are going to accept the string yes and then the l integers where the length of the l integers is the length of the string yes then for each integer x among the l integers the program must encrypt the first p alphabets in the string yes and p represents the position and the encryption means the shift of the alphabets x position to the right in cyclic manner so now we'll take our first test case so here this is our string s yes, and these are the l integers so there are three l integers as the length of string s yes is three so now first we have two so we must encrypt this first first letter with uh, two so which means shift the alphabets so this b will become d that is since we have two it is shifted now we have one after that so this both alphabets will be encrypted by one that is since one is in second position the both alphabets in first position and second position will be encrypted by one so it will be like this and after this we have six so since it is in third position all the alphabets will be encrypted by six that is e becomes k j becomes p and g becomes m so finally this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get the string yes and after that we'll get the l integers and then getting all our inputs we must iterate over the l integers and encrypt the string yes that is for index in range 0 comma len of l that is will be trading over from 0 to the length of the l integers and now 
for in in range 0 comma index plus 1 that is for each index that is uh, if we have the position as 2 means the first two alphabets will be encrypted right so for this we have this loop where p represents the position of the alphabet so after this we have to encrypt the L integers so for that for alphabet alpha ctr in range 1 comma so this will be for L index times L index plus 1 now ASCII is equal to the ORD of S of int so now we are finding the ASCII value using the function ORD now after getting the ASCII value of S of index we will increment it by 1 and also if the ASCII value is 123 or ASCII value is 91 means we have to subtract 26 from this ASCII value and the S of int will be equal to CHR of ASCII and finally we must print should join the string S yes. so for example if we have like alphabet as Y means the ASCII value of Y is 121 so first it will be incremented by 1 as we said in the code so first it becomes incremented by 1 so it becomes Z and now when it becomes 123 that is if the ASCII value is 123 means we have to subtract 26 from it so 123 minus 26 is 97 which represents A so now we have got this cyclic manner that is after Z we have A now similarly we have for the upper case also now let us execute our program we will pass our first test case so we have got the correct output now we will pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video